Hey everyone, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Yeah, it's been a while again. Apologize. Life's a little rough, but... Yeah, continue. see, we stopped filming, and now there's a pandemic and a quarantine, and... Yes, good stuff, fun stuff. We'll make it through. <laughs> but, in the meantime, we will continue on here. Looks like we're going into the wild woods to sever some, some, some supply lines. So, let's get the lowdown, the scoop. The 101... I don't, I don't know, whatever the thing is, people <laughs> say. How about we just get the information that we need, honey? Okay, we're going now. Thanks in part to Squad 7, the Great Vassal Bridge is back in our hands. In part? How about completely us? That pushed the front line back. I'm sorry, do you need help patting yourself on the back over there? <laughs> <laughs> a couple more pats wouldn't be that uncalled for. That way as well? The army will take that front. Meanwhile, the militia will head south. Our next target is here, in the Cloden area. Cloden. That's how we say it. Wildwood. I was wondering. I saw taking soil samples. <laughs> he oh, was taking I bet you soil were. Samples. I bet you were. <laughs> oh, Elkin. It's a dense forest with plenty of hills and valleys. Hard to get around in there. What did the soil samples tell you, Welkin? What's strategic objective there, Captain? The Empire has set up a supply base there to fuel their invasion of Central Gallia. I see. So if we seize the supply base, we cut off the flow of supplies moving north. Precisely. The 3rd Regiment's objective is to take that base. All squads are to prepare for woodland combat and await orders. Good luck. Dismissed. Woodland combat. What a nightmare. Unless you're Welkin. The woods dull your sense of direction, and poor roads make for slow advances. This'll be our toughest operation yet. For you, maybe. maybe so, but deeper in the woods, you have a better chance of spotting rare foliage. Oh my gosh. Priorities. Kind of insectivorous hmm. plant in Cloden called the Moon Dew that can suck a. All right, I get it. <laughs> you really do have a one track. I effect. like how you he's just that? like, oh, yeah, war, that's terrible. But have you seen the biology here? I'm <laughs> saying nature isn't just a burden. We might find the key to victory in the woods. All right. I'll keep a lookout for your key while I'm slogging along. Hopefully, your plant won't have eaten it. <laughs> oh, Falio, you humor me. It's a carnivorous plant. <laughs> Oh boy, do we get to hear about the Empire now? Like it. You know, it's hard to use binoculars when I can't see through them because of this helmet. <laughs> Ooh, he looks happy. Barthold Gregor. Gallia's mongrels have reclaimed Vassal Bridge. Are the men of our defensive units cowards? This loss is a stain on the Emperor's honor. Useless fools. Oof, those vibrant red eyes. the enemy mm -hmm. cross the river in tanks. And whoever's leading them is no fool. He's Jaeger. Jaeger. This was a fluke. These are peasants, nothing more. Peasants and barbarians. How Rude. How anything else? If birthright is all it takes to win a battle, you must find war so very boring. The issue here is Gallia's resistance and how to end it, swiftly and decisively. Exactly. They'll use their victory at Vassal Bridge as footing for a counter-strike in central Gallia. How shall we proceed? What says your grace? Oh yes, you're here the whole time. Oh, I forgot about that guy. We will extinguish these flames. Our course is clear. The Gallian army must be crushed. Hmm, quiet. The cross is clear. What else was miss we do? Onward and upward, I always say. Check out my legs. They're awesome. We will require awesome. reinforcements. They will be sent to central Gallia. 
dude, your outfit is so extra. That's just because he is extra. The route of supply through Cloden has to be made unshakable. Gregor, see to a restructuring of our central forces. Then you will continue to press northward. Sir. We will head to Barius. Selvaria, be so kind as to accompany us there. With pleasure. And to the ends of the earth, your grace. The Cloden <laughs> base and supply lines. See to them, Jaeger. They need protecting. Galia may have already dispatched troops to the south. Therefore, make haste to Cloden. Of course. Leave it to me, your grace. How practical is it, though, to wear a frickin' animal skull strapped to your shoulder? I don't know. But do we question the things in an anime-esque game? Yes, I do. Especially when they have large horns like that. I just want to know, like... I mean, he was relaxing with his arms behind his head at the table. I feel like it, that would poke you and not be what comfortable. Are we doing? I mean, me, that's fair, but it? apparently it's comfortable anyone? enough for him to I'm do that anyway. You could say that I think again. he's just trying too hard to look scary. I don't think he's trying to look scary. I think he's just trying to look like, hey, look how awesome I am and cool. Pardon me, guys. I'm trying to find my insects. Oh my gosh, he's having a moment. Oh, great, what did he find? A map in the dirt? Alicia, hold on to these for me, will you? Sure, Welkin. What are these? Some kind of nuts? No, actually, they're long beard goat droppings. Ah! Gross! <laughs> You made me hold poo? Are you crazy? <laughs> hey, that's life for the toddler. Hey, <laughs> I have something for you. Hold out your hand. Okay, what is this? No, never Come trust here. the toddler when he says Take hold out your hand. <laughs> what? I can't imagine why. Hmm. The grass has been trampled down, looks like. What's the deal with that? An animal trail. With any luck, this could be our way out. Animals have a natural instinct to find the most efficient path. That's why the grass is trampled down. They snap off the branches, they eat the grass. As a result, they clear a perfect trail. So if we make like goats and follow it, the path will take us through. The enemy supply base should be nearby. This is where we'll start our operation. Excellent. All right, I think we're almost there. I forget how long these story segments are sometimes. Hopefully our viewers don't find them boring. That's really nice, Rosie. What song is that? It's so pretty. I call it Lala. <laughs> hmm? Oh, just a song I sang back in the day. Oh, you used to be a singer? I didn't know that. Ha! Huh. You paint a much prettier picture than it was. I used to sing at a bar in my town. Uh oh, we've got a lusty barmaid on oh, our hands. Really oh, pretty. I don't think she's a barmaid. I'd love to hear or like I'm a bar kidding. singer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little show one of these days. Sure, as long as it's not smooth jazz. But that's my favorite. You're not alone here. I'll go investigate. Put your hands in the air. No. Huh? It's a pig? It looks like a Porcavian piglet. It's adorable. We now have our animal mascot. What's your story? Get separated from your mom? Aww. I'll take a look further in. <sighs> well, what did you find? More droppings. There must have been a skirmish here. It looks like a stray bullet hit his mother. Oh, never mind. Even all the way out here, the war's still claiming lives. You lost your family too, huh, little guy? Left all alone. But now we can have bacon! Wow. Well, Sorry. <laughs> and I thought I was insensitive. Sorry, I just like bacon and I'm what? hungry. <laughs> I'll make sure to feed you next time before we record. Oh, well, so I don't say insensitive things. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
today? Hear that, you little orphan piggy? We'll take care of you. Very well. Okay, see, I was gonna let it go, and now you're just continuing to make it worse. Yep, that's uh, what I do sometimes. All right, now we get to go fight. Wildwood Warfare at Cloden. Here is a brief on the task at hand. The enemy's supply base is located at the east end of these woods, tucked behind a tight defensive line. Your squad will sweep in and attack from the west to capture it and cut off their supply line, or their lifeline. I suggest you hit the base head on with your tank while your foot soldiers take the north path behind the enemy's back. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp. Tread carefully. I su suspect they've planted mines all across the area leading up to the base. Oh joy. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Minesweeper. Hmm, it is a fun game, after all. But that's a side note. You should be able to see them, but be careful. Accidentally stepping on one will mean major damage. Well, no duh. <laughs> An engineer can dismantle a landmine by approaching it and pressing the A button when the command appears. Also remember that a tank can, can roll over landmines without sustaining damage. That's another way to clear the road. Conversely, foot soldiers can walk on the larger anti-tank mines unharmed but a tank will take tread damage. We've heard word that the enemy backup is approaching even now. Get out there and claim that base fast, because that will totally take away the reinforcements that are coming. All right. So let's see, deploy units. Well, Alicia will have you in there. Probably put Edie here because she's been helpful. Um, Herbert, you should well, go. Herbert is an engineer, so he, is an engineer. he could freaking just disarm all of the mines for you. Just on the off chance. <sighs> Dumpling, we'll give you another shot. <laughs> Alright, so down here, we'll go ahead and put Rosie. I like Ica. And Vise. And we'll put Largo, because we need some tank guy. Alright. I think that should be good, so here we go, everybody. Now, let's begin the operation. I'm confident victory is within reach. I hope so too. Because boy, that would be awkward otherwise. The enemy's supply base is through these woods. Squad 7, move out! Now to go hide in my tank where it's safe. Good luck everyone out there! The tank will follow the road to the south. Team 2, take the trail to the base. Yes sir, sir. All right, listen up and I'll explain. Ooh, about team attacks. Sometimes when units near allies attack, those allies will join in with supporting fire. Up to three units can team up, and their support fire comes at no CP cost. Well, that's awesome. The units in your squad each have specific other members they like especially well. Teaming up with those units will result in exceptionally powerful attacks. Staging a team attack against crouching enemies can be a very smart way to defeat them. However, bunching up for a team attack can leave your soldiers open to powerful area attacks from grenades and mortars. Know when to group up for offense and when to stay spread out for defense. Uh, okay, so that is where all those, like, this person likes X and this person likes Y comes into play finally. My turn, okay? Alright, Alicia, we'll go ahead. Pull it together. Oh look, a mine. Uh-oh. Oh, we'll have Herbert take care of that. And let's see. Sneaking, sneaking. Oh. Anti-tank gunnery reported on the north bank. We're in danger while it remains, Welks. We'll have to hope Team Two can take it out from behind. Oh, I'm excellent at attacking things from behind. Go on. That's what she said. That's okay. right. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. How many shots take care of this man? <sighs> Way too many. How about this man? Yeah. Come on. There we go. All right, Alicia. Let's take out the scout. Ho oh, ho, Alicia. You almost disappointed. Yep. But not today. Don't worry. I got him. I don't understand what you mean by un uh, It was well, but not surprised. I don't know. Who is that supposed to be speaking? 
That's a great question. I honestly do not know. I'll give it a go. Alright, Herbert. We need you to go take care of this mine for us. Take out that supply base. That's right. Clipping yeah, the mine. Yeah, you your pliers on that, because that makes sense. That, wow. You did a great job there. I, I'm glad that you clipped that mine well. All right, let's go ahead. You can go ahead and take some shots. Oh. Well, thanks, Helped Alicia. Too. She did help, too. Teamwork. I'm tired. Man down. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh All he oh. does is complain. I love it. Okay, okay you know what? We'll just, okay, let's just go around. Found one. I'm glad you could find one. All right, we'll just stand here. I don't know what sees you, but um, it's better that you just chill there for right now. Yeah, but you better not kill my boy. I'm not going to intentionally try to kill your boy. All right, so we see oh, we have two Lancers, and we have a medium tank over there, a scout, and a shock trooper. Uh, I feel like we're going to need to sweep in from the side here to help them out, because there's no way... We're going to be able to just push up with Lancers sitting right there. Mm -hmm. But maybe so. I don't know. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well. Out. No point in resting on our laurels. Let's go. Let's see here. If I stay over here, I can crawl in the grass. People won't be able to see me. Really? Enemies suck. Don't get careless. Oh, are there enemies over there? Oh, there are enemies over there. Looks like Oof. it. Alright, well, we're gonna have to take care of that later. Okay, what's over there? Oh, we got two shock troopers hiding out over there. Fun! Alright. Edie, I need your assistance. Oof, you really don't have a lot of movement here. We're gonna have to use another... Another, um movement point for you to get you in a place where you can guard us in case those guys decide to come get us. Here, we'll look yeah over this way. Okay. I think we're okay set up there. Let's go ahead and take Welkin here and just try to get a little bit of a better idea of what's ahead for us. Also, I do realize that I did not actually bring any engineers to take care of anti-tank mines, so Hopefully this won't be a problem. Oh, hey look, an anti-tank mine. I oh should have boy. seen that coming. Mm -hmm. Alright, can we... Nope, alright. Use, Use the trees for cover, really? You don't say. Let's try to... tank. Yeah. Guys, I think there's a tank out there. Nah, it's behind a tree, you can't see it. Oh, okay. Alright. I wonder if does that get rid of the... No. Okay, either I shot too high, or it just doesn't work. Um. Let's do this thing. Hey, Rosie, want to help out here? Maybe your grenades will do something about it. Yeah, or... Didn't say explicitly, did it? No, but you know what? I'm just trying things out. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this works. Damage minimal. Well, I ended up hurting my own self, so, you know, <laughs> I'm great at this game. Great job. Alright, Aika, I need your help. Don't really know how we're going to take care of this tank problem, but... Can I do anything with that? No, I cannot. Well, we're just going to just chill. Can't they run over the tank mines with minimal damage? Well, they can run over them, but they're not going to actually trigger them. Oh. That's the thing. Alright, so let's see what these guys do. He is... Ah, he's making his way down this way. Ha ha! As predicted! Damage minimal. Oh, that tank can hit us. That's a problem. That's actually a really big problem. There's some sort of shuffling going on over there. Lots of shuffling, apparently. Hmm. About evasion. 
When being attacked, units will sometimes duck under enemy fire and avoid damage. This is called evasion, and can be negated by attacking from the enemy's rear. Attacks from behind also cause the target to panic, leading to slightly lower accuracy during their counterattack. This is yet another reason to always guard your own back while actively trying to circle around your foes. Oh. Well, that's a nifty, gifty tip. Oh, dear. Um, hmm. I don't feel like I'm in a very good situation right now here. Alright, Edie, we're gonna have you see if you can take Enemy out this guy. Sighted. Enemy sighted. I know there's enemies sighted. Ha! You failed to kill me. Now it's your turn! That's what you get! Yep. So I guess we're trying to sneak up on you. Alright, you're gonna guard this. I feel like it's the enemies talking because I just heard them say man down. Uh, I mean, right? I don't know. I it, don't know. It I could just be. like to know what's going on and like the weird disembodied voices. I know, I'd like to know too. Alright. Don't bite off more than you can chew. What if I want to bite off more than I can chew? You don't get to tell me what to do. Well, actually. It might you have can. just been a suggestion. <laughs> I have a a slight suggestion for you. Yeah, what's that? Don't bite off more than you can chew. Oh. Well, that's a good thing you told me because boy was I planning to otherwise. I'm becoming one with the ground. Oh look, goat droppings. Oh boy. Alright. Alright, can I... Alright, main idea here is to have you throw that. So, wow. Good one. That was a good one. I did not honestly expect that to work. But we're gonna just try to inch our way over here. Okay, so we have Alicia in the base, so that's good. Um, oh yeah, we have Dumpling. You only have one engineer? I do only have one engineer. Why I, well, did you do that when they specifically said you needed engineers to disarm the mines? Well, because I thought only one was important, and I thought I'd give Herbert the job. And then I, mean, I realized you're that you're not wrong in in picking Herbert for the job. I just was saying I feel like another little engineer buddy would have been helpful. I mean, you are you're definitely not wrong. All right, so we're actually going to use Herbert to try to get this base taken out. It's our only chance, I think, with what we have in us for our current situation. Does that... Alright, Herbert, we're gonna have to ask you to carefully... not asking you to repair or occupy. Alright. Okay, okay, I'm firing. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm firing. I this guy! Alright. Oh. How about you occupy this first? And then... You can hide here. We'll have Alicia. My turn, okay? We're gonna take out. She wants a turn. Yeah, she does want a turn. Hey, naughty. No. Nice. Thank you. Hmm. All right. So my only concern is that that tank is gonna be a little tricky to deal with in our current situation. Mm -hmm. Um, hmm. How do we do this? I really did not put us in a very good situation. Been waiting here. Largo! No, I really wish I would have had you on the other side now. Alright. Take that Imperial supply base. Really? Is that what we were supposed to do? Gosh, I forgot! All right, Vulcan, we're gonna... I was like, oh. can you shimmy? I'm just trying to... Okay. You probably should not run your peep like, like that. Oh, she'll be fine. I hope. Gee, really? Can you take out those trees? Maybe. My hope is, though, to shoot this guy. 
Haha. -ha. And he just gets up. <laughs> ha! You thought that was going to take me out. Joke's on you. All right, so if we try to position ourselves in such a way that Ika here, here I go. <laughs> even though After you're done running her over multiple times, don't worry, she's fine. Not even upset. Nope, look at that. All right, just need you to bang, hit this. Bang, <laughs> bang bang, baby. All right. Man down. Everybody be careful. Take this guy here. We'll have to end our turn this time. And hopefully, what we'll do next time is get it in to a position to take out the tank. Mm -hmm. Damage minimal. Or we might die. I don't know. Hopefully not the latter. I, yeah. My goal is to hopefully get Minor damage sustained. Herbert up there soon. Yeah. Problem is, I don't know what we're gonna do about that tank. There's a scout back there. You can't move Largo very far, can you? Nah, I mean I can. It's just gonna take a couple turns. My best bet would be to maybe have Alicia go over there and just chuck grenades at it from yeah. behind over and over again. Well, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, all right, we're gonna we'll, we'll give it a shot. Enemy unit spotted. Nope. Alright. Um, how about if I just shoot that? Oof. Only five shots, that's not gonna do a lot. I did so much. You helped. <laughs> I helped and did absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh dear. Alright, so we're gonna have to just get Largo up here. He seems to be complaining about waiting around, so... Yep. How many shots? Oh, gosh. Six shots? That's not exactly a lot. Or, that's, that's do super doable. But we'll, uh... He has two shots left. So if I... Maybe focus fire... Largo's three shots, and then take Welkin's moves, he can do something about it. I really wish this was going to do more damage, but mm -hmm. I don't want to get any closer because I'm sure as soon as I do, it's going to be like, oh look, it's a Largo. Let's shoot him with the machine gun and kill him. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah, no, that would be less than ideal. As are most of my options right now. You're done! At least he's not missing right now. I mean, that's a plus. To be fair, it is literally right in front of him. Well, so were some of the other ones. Well, I mean, yes, but this one is so far in front of him that, well, I don't know. I would cry. Don't fail me now. <laughs> don't fail me now. Yeah, because we are a little bit. We are bit... hurting. We're we are... smoking and crackling. We are. All right. Fire! So if we, we just need one more shot, we can we'll inch forward just a little bit. Just to make sure that we don't... Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey. <laughs> Let me get right up in your face. In case you had any doubts that this was going to miss, we did not miss. Good job. All right. Gotta love nature. Gotta, Gotta love... love nature. The guy doesn't even care that that tank is just rolling on through. All right, so now my goal is... Oh, dear. All right. So we're going to send someone uh, over to shoot that guy. Yep. So what we're going to do, Herbert is going to run over here. Um, I need to just verify. Okay, if he can kill him in... All right, we're going to have Herbert kill him. Because at least with him dead, we don't have to worry about him turning around and blowing up the tank. Because, mm -hmm. oh boy, does our tank need some major help. Can he fix that or no? Uh, maybe next turn. I mean, he's an engineer, right? That's what he's for. <laughs> That's the whole reason why I brought him along. Fixing things! Alright, see there's some artillery up there on the side we'll have to take care of. Hmm, 
Decisions, decisions. Well, they stopped there. Alright, well, with our current predicament, I think this would be a good stopping point. We will be able to come back next episode, and we'll hopefully be able to finish off the map. I think we can do that. Seems doable. Alright, well thanks everyone for joining us in our harrowing expeditions here, with me at the helm and still not doing a great job. Hey, but we haven't lost any team members today. So not we're yet. We're doing good. Not yet. Welkin is dangerously close, but he's not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. So we'll leave on that cliffhanger. Indeed. <laughs> so definitely come back next time. All right, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. See ya.